Uh, good morning, Dr. Sashi and class. So I'll be presenting on factor five laden. So factor five laden is an um, hereditary disorder that is caused by mutation of one of the clotting factors in the blood called the factor five. And know that factor five, it plays a critical role in blood clot formation in response to entry. So um, its mutation will increase the chance of developing abnormal blood clots or thrombophilia, mainly um, within the veins of the legs. It's common in white people and of Arabian descendants. And since it's a hereditary hereditary um, conditions. So the people who inherit two copies from their parent will likely to have an increased risk of developing factor five laden than those who inherit one copy. So it affects both men and women equally. For women, it increases during time of pregnancy and when they take estrogen hormones. And this is the unique um, feature about factor five laden is that not all people with factor five will develop abnormal clots. Some may have factor five, but they will never develop any abnormal clot. So the causes is due to resistance to activated protein C and the mutation that causes factor five to be inactivated more slowly than normal give rise to um, give more time for blood clots to form. So in pathophysiology, the activated protein C that activated factor that activates factor five in a clotting cascade will decreases cause decreases the activation of thrombin and a DNA point mutation that substitutes quantine for adenine and its corresponding mRNA codon forms clitamine in a form of arginine on position 506 near the polypeptide cleavage site for factor V. So in such patients um, who have clitamine, clitamine 506 factor A, the resistance to cleavage by activated protein C causes a factor V remain, to remain active that will um, cause it to activate uh, that will activate prothrombin and it leads to increases thrombotic events such as peripheral and cerebral um, venous thrombosis or recurrent pregnant loss. So risk factors, again, it's a hereditary condition. So two faulty genes will have an increased risk of developing factor five later than those who inherit one um, gene from the parent. Um, extended periods of immobility, such as um, sitting during a long period of time, those who take estrogen hormones in a form of oral contraceptives or hormonal replacement therapy in pregnancy. Um, surgeries or injuries of broken bones can also increase the risk of clots or being a non-negative old blood type. So signs and symptoms depends on where the clot forms and whether and where it travels. So venous thromboembolism, which is the most common. So for deep vein thrombosis, that mainly affects the legs. The, the patients, they will present with swelling of the ankles and the feet presented with pain, redness, and warmth in the legs and the skin. Um, for superficial venous thrombosis, um, warmth, tenderness, pain. Pulmonary embolism, they will present with um, shortness of breath, chest pain when breathing in, coughing up blood, and a rapid uh, heart rate. Uh, to example, embolism, um, they would like to have ischemic tissue damage, such as stroke, acute mesentery ischemia, acute lip ischemia, acute coronary syndrome, or pulmonary infarction. So diagnosis, you have to take a very thorough history. So a family history of thromboembolism, since it's a hereditary condition, to rule out any hereditary causes. You um, can also carry out a laboratory test, such as coagulation studies, um, hypercoagulation ability battle, uh, which include anterior activated protein C resistance test or factor V leading assay, prothrombin gene molecular analysis, you can also test for the levels of protein C and S within the blood, and antithrombin heparin cofactor assay. So the treatments um, depends on the medical history of the patient. So for patients who have deep vein thrombosis, it can give them blood thinners or anticoagulants such as heparin and warfarin. Um, for people with, who have factor 5 latent, but they don't 
develop any plot clot, epinoma plot clot, you can counsel them by um, counsel them to reduce or eliminate factors that can um, increase the risk of clotting. For lifestyles and home remedies, you can tell them to keep their legs moving, um, walk around, um, consider compression stockings, assist can help to improve blood circulation within the legs, precautions with taking estrogen hormones, smoking cessation, weight loss, and prevent excessive bleeding. And these are the references uh, for my presentation. And that's it. Thank you very much. <clears throat>